What's up, Chelsea fans? Welcome to the Premier League team of the season video. Hello, welcome. Swagadam. This is a video. Now, I am going to show you a video. 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 But I am going to show you a goalkeeper status. I am going to show you midfielders, defenders, forwards. I am going to show you a question in the forwards. But I am going to show you a reward for midfielders. There are interesting choices and controversial choices. And in fact, one of the Chelsea players is that I have to look at the statistics of Chelsea players. Now, if you don't have to approve this lineup, do let me know if you are the Premier League team of the season. And do let me know if you choose these players. Now, I'm going to choose these players to choose the statistics. Now, I'm going to see the computer screen, but I'm going to edit these statistics. Edit itu itu tu, saya dengan orang mobil ini screen lebar itu ada. Ia, apabila saya cakap apa ini bagat tu, ini saya macam mana? Apabila saya korupsian tu, makan dekat ada, ini nalar. Now let's look at the goalkeepers. Now obviously, saya screen lebar ini nongka bond. Goalkeepers le clean sheets is Edison. He's been brilliant. Patung pada clean sheets, tuttu pergi le Edward Mendy, and tuttu pergi le Imaliano Martinez. Apa swabahan kami dalam Liverpool team le by default kerana dua player ane Edison. Paksa, ni aku ada comparison nanti ya comparison ni kalau screen beri ada Ederson versus Martinez. Clean sheet tu kurang dengan goals conceded. Seri kita baru ni ni aku Ederson tu korang mana? Paksa, ni aku baru cakap save sum, save per match sum, save percentage success tu nukik ni aku Martinez is way ahead. And aduk korcung korang, nama kita satu macam itu ada data baru ni aku look at the overall stats. Now, Martinez has 38 shots on target for Martinez. That is 78.8% save percentage. Which means he has been fantastic this season. I am going to say that Ederson has compared to Martinez shots on Martinez. It's of course a better defense and probably an attacking team. He has not been able to face shots on target for Martinez. Ederson has been brilliant, but statistically, Martinez has been brilliant and now here comes the most important factor, which is expected goals against. That is why the goalkeeper has not been able to save the goal. Clearly, it is Martinez. Martinez has been able to save the team for 7.4 goals. That is not the same as Martinez. We have to save the goal in the post, and we have to save the goal in the difficult shot. As a goalkeeper, Martinez has been brilliant and for me, the goalkeeper of the season is Martinez. Now, let's get on to the very controversial centre-backs. Now, centre-backs are very clear. Two players, Stones and Diaz. If you have two players, you can see the stats and you can see the stats. If you have two players, you can see the stats on the Premier League website. Diaz vs. Harry Maguire and a comparison. Harry Maguire. Now, Harry Maguire, all fans, even Manchester United fans, Role in a different run. He didn't have an extremely good season. Pakshe, his contribution towards Manchester United defense is brilliant. Now, in the world, Harry Maguire is not very good. He is a defender. 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 He is not that pacey. He is a defender. He is not that pacey. He is not that pacey. He is not that pacey. His numbers do not lie. Now, of course, stats is not everything. He is not that pacey. He is not that pacey. Ever dengan kalau kita nama le stats ini respect dia untuk rasa tak berani le. Apa anggana nama le nongkan dah itu. Nama le Ruben Diaz versus Harry Maguire comparison. Harry Maguire just blows Ruben Diaz away. Now, ini dia ana. Nian banyak orang stats lekik kuda kerana. Now this became very very interesting for me. So I started comparing Ruben Diaz, Stones, Harry Maguire, Rudiger and Thiago Silva. And something interesting came up. If you look at the playing time, ini lah ana resikram ayat karya. Aga kuda mupatna le kali Kalicheri kena Ruben Diaz sama Harry Maguire sama matra malu. Stones ini betulnya malu sahaja kerana mereka ini sahaja sahaja kalicher terlalu. And Antonio Rudiger dan Thiago Silva again has only completed less number of games. So maximum number of games kalikian dan team le contribute ini diri kena rende centre back. Alangkah nyan choose ini rende centre back itu lalu. Orang rende beri Ruben Diaz and Harry Maguire. Apa this became pretty interesting and I started doing more comparison in terms of their Quality and even I am in tackles plus interceptions. I am in the entire world. Harry Maguire is way ahead in terms of tackles per interception, which is which is crazy to even think about it. Now passing le noke kai ni yar. John Stones is much much better passer. Even I am Harry Maguire ne cheri ke mari utna baaki e duro defenders ne mechu noke kai ni yar. John Stones has got a 94.3 percentage complete 
പാസിംഗ് റേഞ്ച് നോ ഒബിയസ്ലി ഒരു ഡിഫൻഡറെ സംബന്ധിച്ച് ഡിഫെൻസീവ്ലി ആസ്പെക്ട് ആണ് കുറെ കൂടെ വരുന്നത് നോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ടാക്കിൾസ് വൺ ടാക്കിൾസ് വണ്ണിൽ അഗെയിൻ റൂബൻ ഡി എസ് ഇസ് സ്ലൈറ്റ്ലി എഹെഡ് ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ആന്റോണിയോ റൂഡിഗർ രണ്ട് രസം രസകരമായ ഒരു കാര്യം എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ആന്റോണിയോ റൂഡിഗർ ഹാസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഓൺലി നയൻറ്റീൻ ഗെയിംസ് വേറാസ് ഡി എസ് മുപ്പത്തിനാല് മത്സരം കളിച്ചിരുന്നു ലെറ്റ്സ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് വേഴ്സസ് ഡ്രിബിൾസ് അതായത് തനിക്കെതിരെ എത്രത്തോളം ഡ്രിബിൾ സക്സസ്ഫുള്ളി കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റി എന്നുള്ളത് Now, Rudiger is brilliant in dribbles. If you want to block the dribbles, you can see what you want to do with these stats. And Harry Maguire is just behind that. Now, Rudiger played three at the back. Harry Maguire and Stones and Diaz played with four at the back. So, two center back girls are the concept of the concept. That's what we will consider. But in one-on-one dribbles, Rudiger and Harry Maguire is brilliant. And pressure, that is, if you lose the ball, 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 again, Rudiger and Stones is brilliant. Harry Maguire is a little down. So, now the stats is brilliant. Because Rudiger is 19 miles, and Stones is 22 miles, and statistics is brilliant. So, if we have the entirety of the Premier League, I would have gone for Rudiger and Stones. പക്ഷെ ഇഫ് ഐ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദി എന്റയറിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ പ്രീമിയർ ലീഗ് നോ ഒരു പ്രീമിയർ ലീഗ് ടീം ഓഫ് ദ സീസണിൽ ഞാൻ നോക്കുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് ഐ വോണ്ട് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ഹാവ് പ്ലേഡ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി ഗെയിംസ് ആൻഡ് അവിടെ ഐ വുഡ് ഗിവ് റൂബൻ ഡിയസ് ആൻഡ് ഹാരി മെഗ്വായർ ദി എച്ച് ഈവൻ തോ ചില സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സിൽ ഹാരി മെഗ്വായർ അത്രത്തോളം ക്വാളിറ്റി കാണിച്ചു വെച്ചില്ലെങ്കിലും ഹി ഹാസ് നോട്ട് ബീൻ പോർ ആൻഡ് ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കേണ്ട എന്താണെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എല്ലാ ഗെയിംസും ഇല്ലാത്തത് കൊണ്ട് ചില നമ്പേഴ്സ് അങ്ങോട്ടും ഇങ്ങോട്ടും മാറും ആൻഡ് ഹാരി മെഗ്വായർ ഇസ് ബ്രില്യൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ഏരിയൽ ഡുവേൽസ് വൺ ആസ് വെൽ തൊട്ട് പുറകില്ല ആന്റോണിയോ റൂഡിഗർ നമ്മൾ സെന്റർ ബാക്കുകൾ അവർ എത്തിയിട്ടുള്ളൂ ഇനി ഫുൾ ബാക്സ് ഇറങ്ങുന്നത് മിഡ് ഫീൽഡ്സ് ഇറങ്ങുന്നത് ഫോർവേഡ്സ് തന്നെ നമുക്ക് പെട്ടെന്ന് തീർക്കുക അധികം സമയമൊന്നും വേണ്ട നൗ കമ്മിങ് ഓൺ ടു ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ബാക്ക് നൗ നൗ മൂന്ന് പേരെയാണ് ഞാൻ ഇതിനകത്ത് ഷോർട്ട് ലിസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ബെൻ ചിൽവൽ ലൂ ഷോ ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ്രൂ റോബർട്സൺ നൗ ലെറ്റ്സ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് സം ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ്സ് സ്റ്റാറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദീസ് ത്രീ പ്ലേയേഴ്സ് മൂന്ന് പേരും അത്യാവശ്യം ഏകദേശം ഈക്വൽ മത്സരങ്ങൾ കളിച്ചു പക്ഷെ റോബർട്സൺ പ്ലേഡ് ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഓൾ ഗെയിംസ് മുപ്പത്തെട്ട് മത്സരം കളിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി Whereas Luke Shaw, 30 minutes from start to you, Ben Chilwell, 28 minutes from start. And in terms of goals, Ben Chilwell has higher goals. And in terms of assists, Robertson has higher assists. So at this moment, Luke Shaw has a lot of importance. Now, if you look at passing percentage completed, Luke Shaw has got a better passing percentage completed with 81.6, which is pretty good for a left back. Goal creating actions are good for Robertson. And short creating actions are good for Robertson. Luke Shaw Anna in terms of number. So, so far, so good. Where an Instagram I have to carry him is in terms of defensive actions. Now, defensive actions, Luke Shaw has got much, much better numbers. Now, if you look at the left side, you can see tackles, tackles one, that's why Luke Shaw Anna could have numbers all other. Tackle percentage, dribbles, that's why one-on-one dribbles, tackle percentage, Luke Shaw Anna Anna. And last, Edward Dogen, interceptions plus tackles, again luke show has much better numbers now if i look at the aerial duels luke show is a little down in terms of aerial uh, duels whereas andrew robertson has got higher numbers in terms of aerial duels so it is a little confusing in terms of choosing a left back karan korchu kuda attacking stats edutho kenya probably uh, robertson and chilwell looks much better in terms of defensive action edutho kenya luke show but in the entirety I think as a team and as a season, Mottadil performance at the OK Kanyal, I would give the benefit of doubt to Luke Shaw. He's got a brilliant season, Manchester United in Madrid. He's got a great comeback, played really, really well. Uh, right backs, obviously, as a Chelsea fan, Rhys James is a very important thing. But Rhys James, Pratej, second half of the season, has played more as a right wing back. That's not a good thing. But overall, I felt the battle was between Van Bissaka and Trent Pratej. Alexander Arnold even in the middle of the battle and if you look at the matches played rendu verum egadesham equal number of matches played arnu and both of them has the same amount of starts almost the same amount of minutes goal contribution attacking contribution korchu kuda kududal trend alexander arnold lana and even though reese james kore kedala pass kodukkan petti or player anengil thanneyum bisaka has got two goals and four assists appo nammal ottum marakkanda or karyam aanu and in terms of goals and shot creating action there's no surprise that uh, arnold is leading the race with 13 goal creating actions adha goal like lead cheyana or action create idu totu porakil again bisaka is also there reese james is down in the third and nera marichu shot creating creation action le again alexander arnold is better so so far it looks pretty pretty good for trend just like left back le nammal 
and alige uh, robertson ne kurichi parayindha pole this looks slightly better for trent alexander arnold pakshe let's look at the defensive stat and this is where things get really interesting van bisaka scores big on in terms of defensive actions number and he's been a brilliant defender for manchester united manchester united ne right back ne kurichi namma samsarikkatha indha vetta oru kaaranam van bisaka and he's almost like a kanti like a player or a silent assassin pole player aanu athrathola limelight onnum ഒന്ന് നേടാനോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ തന്റെ സൈഡിലേക്ക് ലൈംലൈറ്റ് ഒന്നും നോക്കാനോ ഒരു ടൈപ്പ് ഉള്ള ഒരു പ്ലെയർ അല്ല അപ്പൊ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ പുള്ളിക്കാരന് ഒരുപാട് കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഒരു പക്ഷേ ആസ് ഫാൻസ് നമ്മൾ മിസ് ആവാനുള്ള ചാൻസ് ഉണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഈവൻ ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് പാസിംഗ് പെർസെന്റേജ് കംപ്ലീഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി വാൻ ദാ ലീഡിങ് സോ മൈ ചോയ്സ് ഇഫ് ഐ എം ലുക്കിംഗ് ഫോർ എ ഡിഫെൻസീവ് റൈറ്റ് ബാക്ക് വിത്തൌട്ട് എ ഡൌട്ട് ഐ വുഡ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ഗോ ഫോർ ആർ എൻ വാൻ ദാ നേരെ മറിച്ച് ഇഫ് ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ഫോർ എൻ ഒഫെൻസീവ് റൈറ്റ് ബാക്ക് ട്രെൻഡ് അലക്സാണ്ടർ ആർണോ now comes into midfielders 433 formation le in the middle of the base three ende manasile by default undarna kante ayirunnu karena nammal eppolum parayna oru kaaryam aanu chelsea fans the world 70% of the world is covered by water rest 30% is covered by kante or march 30% of the world is covered by water or 70% is covered by uh, kante now he's been brilliant for us especially against real madrid and important matchsangal but this time we are speaking only about premier league Now, Premier League in the Karim Anna Pratekim, obviously I had to look at the stats and there is one player, Enne Samantichu, who is standing slightly better, slightly better above Kante and that is Wilfred NDD for Leicester City. And his number is also pretty good in terms of his overall performance. Now, if I look at the stats, especially in terms of defensive actions, he has got much better stats. And again, after the significant, like Chelle numbers, like of the significance of the game, overall in terms of Premier League, Uh, he has got slightly better starts against Angolo Kante. And the number of the carry on which is Angolo Kante is a mistake. He has been played in multiple uh, positions throughout the season. Uh, Frank Lampard in the same time, he had slightly more advanced role. Nera Marche in terms of Tukal Sarai, he had a double pivot role. And sometimes he also been given uh, freedom to roam around with Jorginho sitting back. So Angolo Kante didn't have a consistent set of roles. One of the other and the numbers in affect either to down he is a brilliant player absolutely no doubt but if you look at the season i would go with wilfred ndt in terms of the base uh, of the tree now controversial have another chance to do let me know your thoughts let's move on to the other two midfielders and this is where things get really interesting karna i was looking at just two players kevin de bruyne and bruno fernandes and without a doubt bruno fernandes had 18 goals ഒമ്പത് ഗോൾസ് പെനൽറ്റി കിക്ക് ആണെങ്കിലും ബാക്കി ഒമ്പത് ഗോൾസ് ഇൻഡ് സ്കോർ ഫ്രം ഓപ്പൺ ഗോൾ വിച്ച് ഇസ് റിയലി ഗുഡ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് ഇസ് സ്റ്റിൽ ഗുഡ് ഫോർ എ മിഡ് ഫീൽഡർ ആൻഡ് കണ്ണും പൂട്ടി ഐ സെഡ് കെവിൻ ട്രിപ്രോയിനർ പക്ഷേ ഒരു ആവശ്യമില്ലാണ്ട് ഞാൻ സ്റ്റാറ്റ്സ് എടുക്കാൻ നോക്കി ആൻഡ് ഇവിടെയാണ് എന്നെ സംബന്ധിച്ച് ഒരു ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് രണ്ട് പ്ലേയേഴ്സിനെ ഞാൻ ഒബ്സർവ് ചെയ്യാൻ തുടങ്ങിയത് ഒന്ന് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വാട്ട് പ്രവസ് ഹി ഹാഡ് എ ബ്രില്യൻ സീസൺ ഫോർ സൗത്ത് ഹാംപ്ടൺ അൺഫോർച്ചുനേറ്റ്ലി സൗത്ത് ഹാംപ്ടൺ ടീമിൽ കളിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഒരു പക്ഷേ അത്രത്തോളം ആൾക്കാരെ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കാണ്ട് പോയിട്ടുണ്ടാവും then is jack harrison from leeds united even his numbers are not poor eight uh, goal and eight assist and another surprising element in the entire midfield in terms of goals was ek good no one with 13 goals and 12 assists and adinath serikkum parnya penalty goals maati kaynal he's got the top scoring midfielder in terms of non penalty goals the entire stats was fantastic for me that kevin de bruyne didn't feature out anywhere so bruno fernandes 100% sure so baki on the spot was a fight between gundogan jack harrison watt prowers and jared bowen now jared bowen had also had a fantastic season even a rasagaram aur karyam if you look into the offensive side of things uh, kevin de bruyne jack harrison and uh, J- uh, prowers in three workum nalla goal creating actions create avana sadhyathagal undai and even in terms of shot creating actions they were also equally really good but when it comes to defensive actions ivade prowers had a wonderful season now korchum kuda sitting deep down or a team ayidond southampton obviously kore kuda defensive uh, elements as a midfielder you will have to do and ivada nokka nerthu jack harrison and prowers has brilliant so it's either between those two for me apart from bruno fernandes so if you ask for a midfield if i'm looking for defense yan definitely prowers ennu parayna player ne irikku yan swigirikkene or jack harrison but if i want to go for attack i would definitely choose ik gundogan so wilfred entity bruno fernandes gundogan or wilfred entity bruno fernandes and prowers it's a interesting midfield combo that we have now coming on to the final front three and this is the end of the video i promise without a doubt the top three for me this season is harry kane mohammed salah and hoyming son 
brilliant season for all of them. Even penalty kickers pole erthu ganiyalum, their goals almost remains the same. With Harry Kane, 19 goals, Salah, 16 goals, Son, 16 goals. Even Patrick Bamford, Ian Acho, Ole Watkins all had a good season. But she, Son and Kane had a fantastic season. Our had assistive numbers galum. Both of them are into double digits, which is great. And Salah has been brilliant as usual. For Liverpool, so it's been a fantastic season for these three players. Ida uh, and their forward three. So overall, if I sum it, my total team will look like this: Martinez in in goal goalkeeping, uh, Maguire and Ruben Diaz. If I take the Premier League in entirety, Van Bissak and Luke Shaw as my fullbacks. Nd Ndd, then hmm, uh, Bruno Fernandes obviously. The other one I will go with Pravas Karnam. He is a free kick and a dead ball specialist as well. Kane, Son, and Salah. Now the most important question: Who is the manager of the season? I would have given it to Tuchel. Or at a condition, like, number comfortable at the top three, le, ninnar ninnar ninnar, I would have definitely given it to Tuchel. Because Pagdi won that team, and even our Rithika and the Varanada is brilliant. Unfortunately for Tuchel, in some other case, our friend three finish in our yard. Don't do Tuchel misses out in terms of my manager of the season. We have Pep Guardiola has been brilliant. Uh, Premier League champions now you uh, UCL finals like it. I am now UCL finals from Mumbai. I am video recording now. So the other name which is very very close is David Moyes. West Ham in a upper position like this. A coach on a brilliant season that is he had top four like a attraction challenge. Kondo kordter na a coach ne ana for me was David Moyes. Pakshe pakshe somewhere down the line I am shifting to one specific coach Marcelo Bielsa. What a season he had! One relegated, uh, sorry, one uh, championship in that one over a team. In it, the average of all the teams like that, they have played solid attacking football. Kali picky initially, but now they have practical side. Mario, one coach, Anna, Bielsa, and in this summer, they said Leeds will be a team to look out for for next season. They'll definitely be fighting for the top six. I wouldn't be surprised if the attack comes through. And after some all the signings, they have also discussed it. Discuss it. And so for me, manager of the season. Slightly edging over David Moyes is Marcelo Bielsa. Now this has been an interesting analysis. Now you might disagree. Or if actually Harry Maguire is going to have a disagreement, then maybe we are going to have a disagreement. But actually, our individual personality and our individual contribution is going to be noticed. And I would have loved to see Stones and Rodriguez next season playing the entirety of the season and noticing that how do they compare in the entirety of the season by playing all 34 to 38 matches? It will be interesting to see. Do let me know your thoughts, your Premier League team of the season. This has been a very very long video. We want to summarize and analyze it in detail. So I hope you guys understood it. And if you wish to see it, do let me know your thoughts. Until then, bye bye from Chelsea, Malu fan.